I am trusting you. Roger that. Heading to that location. Agreed. vision. Looks like hostiles over here. on target position now. indicate that Relay is feeding energy directly into their network. If you can destroy it, it may disrupt their efforts to isolate the transmitter. Tell your god I'm coming! On your order! Done. As we had hoped, the network separation has been temporarily delayed. Seems doable. I'll keep a watch for a watch. Moving to Overwatch.
go where you tell me. Moving to position. No problem, boss. Already there. Whatever you say. I will tear you apart! ideal opportunity to infiltrate the Advent Network. We will need to move in with the Skulljacks to initiate the process. Let's do this! I can handle that. for you to go now. The shadows fail us.
Seems doable. You can never escape my sight. Commander, I believe we are seeing something entirely new. An alien species that has so far managed to elude capture or observation by resistance forces. I strongly advise a cautious approach. from me. Nearly there. 
That's a confirmed visual on the transmitter. Plant the X-4 charges before they can cut it off from the network. up any other contacts. Get those charges deployed. Sky covered. We're not picking up any more of those relays. That's all the time we're going to get, Commander. Signal confirmed. X-4 charges are active. That transmitter is history. Good work, Commander. Seek to strip us of the wondrous gifts provided by the Elders. Though we might pity their ignorance, we will not allow such incursions to remain unchallenged. Today's setback is the prelude for tomorrow's victory. we have recovered is crucial to the aliens efforts we currently do not have the means of properly studying new objective 
Objective added. You have done an outstanding job leading the Resistance, Commander. Now prepared to autopsy the body of the powerful being we recovered, Commander. I feel that we may be on the cusp of attaining a complete understanding of this avatar we have long sought. This creature represents a near-perfect fusion of human and elder DNA. Though remarkable, it appears as if the creature were unfinished, perhaps why we were able to ultimately defeat it. Still, this can lead me to only one logical conclusion. We had such hope for you. I believe we have found our avatar. defeat here is yet another blow against the completion of the Avatar project. Excellent work, Commander. Avenger plotting new course. has proven to be a boon to the Resistance. Word is, we've got a new trick or two available, Commander. Maybe we should give them a try.
Avenger plotting new course. Nothing but success. Aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. It won't be easy, but I think it's the only option we have at this point. Agreed. We must inform the Commander immediately. Go right ahead. Commander? Central? The Shadow Chamber has completed its analysis of the Avatar's DNA. It has identified the genetic sequence necessary to travel through the psionic gate. Perfect. We can finally shut this Avatar project down for good. However, the gate requires more than a mere transmission of genetic data. The sequence has to be part of a live subject. The key only works in lockstep with the signal. We don't have time to find another one of those things, let alone capture it. No. That part we can handle. We make our own. You're serious? Quite. Though the specimen before us is damaged beyond repair, it has provided us with its complete genetic blueprint. We already possess an unaltered avatar template from the Forge facility. That combined with the genetic material we recovered at the Black Site should allow us to replicate the procedure here. So, what's the catch? Yes, that. Without an elder consciousness driving it, the new Avatar would remain as lifeless as the one before us. While I can develop its body, I cannot create the mind to drive it. But I can, in a way, by manipulating the new Avatar via the psionic network. You want to operate one of these things by remote control? Not exactly, and definitely not me. Interfacing directly with their network would cause severe, if not fatal, trauma to an unprepared central nervous system. As it stands, we only know of one individual who has survived that kind of ordeal. That was different. The stasis suit created the perfect interface to the network, one tailored to your specific biology, Commander. Of any human candidate, you are the most likely to survive the connection. Most likely is not good enough, Doctor. It is the only answer I can give you, and our only option to traverse the alien portal. 
We need to come up with a game plan before we charge through the enemy's front door. Which will give you some time to think about this, Commander. This specimen, this being, is something else entirely. Something beyond anything we have ever seen. And yet somehow, our troops once again prevailed. Ready to begin on your order, Commander. Priority message for the Commander coming through on a secure channel, sir. On screen. Sir. It's coming from the Advent Network Tower. You heard me. He's taking a big risk contacting us like this. Hello, Commander. You and your crew are to be commended. Your efforts in rebuilding the Resistance Network and uncovering the truth about the Avatar Project have been admirable. I only wish I had better news to report. When does he ever? Advent is not taking the death of an elder lightly, and in turn have greatly accelerated the final stages of their Avatar project. A plan is now in place for the rapid processing of all non-essential human life to begin immediately. Very soon, Advent's speaker will announce a breakthrough in gene therapy. A final treatment for the human condition. Billions will flock to gene therapy clinics across the globe. They will never return. I have managed to secure tactical data and access codes to the Advent Network Tower. The speaker's address will be broadcast live to a global audience via this facility. The whole of Advent's network will be listening. It is this hubris that we must use against them. The information I am sending you should allow Dr. Tigan and Chief Engineer Shen to take control of the transmission and disrupt their entire network from within. Though my hope is that this disruption will confuse the enemy's forces long enough to allow your final assault a chance of success, I ask one more thing of you. Take what you have learned. Let the world know what is happening here. Wake them up. Broadcast the truth. Before there is no one left to listen. It seems we are both out of time. Farewell, Commander. New objective added. I'm keeping tabs on all our operations, Commander. Our people are standing by for your orders. We have the target site locked in, Commander. This is our chance to strike at Advent's heart. Once we control the network tower, we can finally show the world what the aliens are doing. There's no turning back after this. Hello, Commander. If we can disrupt the advent dampening field and their network and actually live to see this day.
I suppose since that worked, we might as well keep it up, Commander. We have a chance to deal the Elders a great blow, should you wish us to, Commander. In the case of this psionic gateway, I'm going to have to go ahead and disagree with the decision to recover it from the field. We had a prime opportunity to send the biggest bomb we have right through it, but instead, we're taking the wait-and-see approach. I just hope we didn't miss our chance. Hand in hand with our new ally. 